Yeah, it sure has let us have a lot of fun, right? And as we know, the people we work with and work for are critical part to our emotional health. And when we can connect with like-minded people and share a passion, like these are really critical things to our work environments. Yeah, absolutely. And the ability to, to do something meaningful as well as, uh, you know, a, a core um, pillar of that, um, that, that positive psychology um, field as well. So, um, yeah, I think working in this, in this realm, you definitely have that sense of, of meaning and purpose through the work that you're doing, which is a great thing too. Yeah, absolutely. I think meaning and, pur- meaning and purpose is one of the most important keys to resilience, right? Mm. And the longer, we will literally live longer um, if we have a reason to get up and meaning and purpose through our day-to-day work. Mm. So can you tell us about the Guarding uh, Minds at Work framework? Yeah, absolutely. So Guarding Minds at Work was the the kind of set of resources that are all public domain. Anybody can go access them and use them uh, that were created. And and that provided um, the psychosocial or work environment frame uh, for the things within an organization that contribute to psychological health and safety. And so um, it's a series of just practical resources that employers can go access. There's no, um, you know, no cost and there's no barrier that um, they can start somewhere and start to learn about psychosocial um, work environment factors, the things that we need to pay attention to in our work environment. And um, and what we're very proud of is the frame developed in Guarding Minds at Work became the frame that was adopted by our national standard. And so um, folks that go through and implement the Guarding Minds at Work framework within their organization are adhering to the our national best practices. That's fantastic. Um, how did you come up with the name? Well, Dr. Martin Shane, who was one of the um, researchers involved in Guarding Minds at Work, he, he gets all of the, the credit for the name and he's um, the, the legal scholar. He likes to clarify, not a lawyer because he did not practice as a lawyer, but the legal scholar, uh, a legal research scholar that um, has been very pivotal in this domain of work. And, and he um, is really, you know, talk about Godmother, he's like the grandfather of, of psychological safety and, and uh, very passionate about um, the harm that can get created when we're not um, protecting our workers. And out of that, um, he had he had the name of kind of guarding minds so that we're protecting our minds. And that ended up evolving into guarding minds at work. 